everyone. I hope you are doing well. I am keeping busy myself. For those of you who follow me over there on Facebook, you know I am in the middle of a big move. So I haven't been as active as I would like to be on YouTube. But don't worry, I have not gone away. I am just trying to take care of family first, as you would want me to. And you know, once all that settles down, I will be back to my weekly videos. But this week, I ran into an issue the last time, which was probably about a month ago, out on the field, where my night crawler was not acting the way I expected it to, and I didn't know exactly what was up with it. But I knew it had to be an easy fix. Usually is an easy fix, it's an operator error. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what happened, or what I think happened, and I'm going to show you how to fix it so you're not struggling out there on the field like I was. So, I'm Amy Astro and welcome to my channel. left of it with my toolbox which is sadly empty of all supplies but what I wanted to show you was my night crawler and the issue I had was it is currently sitting at the zero position software wise but it is sitting out away from the unit so technically this is probably out a good 20 25 millimeters where it should be racked all the way in and I didn't know how to get it to go all the way in. See, with ASCOM software, it won't allow you to go negative. So if the unit controller is saying it's at zero and it's not all the way racked in, well, what are you gonna do? Well, the fix is actually easier than I thought, but the fix required me to contact Moonlight themselves and ask for it because I couldn't find anywhere on the internet where somebody else had posted about this issue. So I wanted to show you guys how to do this. So hopefully if it happens to you and you're out on the field and you find my YouTube video, you can get up and running in a matter of a few minutes, okay? So let's zoom in closer and show you what we're gonna do. All right, so here is the fix that we need to do. When I contacted Moonlight, they told me that this was an easy fix. All I had to do was recalibrate the night crawler and it will fix the zero position to be at the fully racked in position. And there is no negative focus position in the ASCOM software, only positive numbers. Let's turn it on first and just show you what's going on here. You will see that my focus point right here is listed at zero, okay? But clearly, I am racked out some. Right here, you can see that it's racked out. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. Now, what we need to do is to hold down the left button and turn it on at the same time, and it should recalibrate it. So let's give it a try. There we go. I let go. And it is calibrating. Now what it's going to do is this is going to take anywhere up to 10 minutes to happen. So we're going to let this roll through and I'm going to speed this up through camera world so you don't have to wait 10 minutes. I'll be back in just a moment. Well that definitely did not take 10 minutes. It didn't even take a minute to happen. That was actually pretty quick. So now you can see that I am fully racked in and my focus is now at zero. Problem solved, I am ready to get going. Now I'll go over to my imaging software like Sequence Generator Pro or Nina and I will sync my focus position to be zero. And once I've done that, I am good to go, ready to, off, you know, to run off with my astro imaging session. So how easy was that fix? Simple recalibrate, I am up and running, taking my images once again, no worry. But now you have a resource out there on YouTube for if this happens to you when you're on your star field, hopefully you find this video very helpful for you and you get up and running fast. So 
You guys see my shirt here? Let me get up here and uh, ta-da. All right, this is my Photons Chaser t-shirt. It is available for sale. I have a link down below in the description. And I would love to see everyone out there on the field wearing this shirt. It's really cool. It features the Astro Cats and a nice little camping scene. But I do make a small profit from it, not a whole lot. So really I need to sell thousands of them to, you know, make anything. But that's okay. I'm out there. I'm trying. I'm trying to make a little money at this hobby, which I'm sure you guys can understand because nothing about astrophotography is cheap and we all want new toys, okay? So, I do have some very exciting news for everybody. I have been sitting on this news for far too long. I have been dying to tell you guys this, okay? What it is, is I now have a sponsor collaboration deal going on. And in the very near future, I am gonna show you some new telescope products and I'm gonna to get to try it out and tell you guys my thoughts, you know, what I liked, what I didn't like and all that. And my opinions will always be my opinions and they will be as truthful and honest as I can possibly make them. I am not gonna candy coat anything. And I warned everybody about this up front. But let me say that Lancey and Sky out of Houston, Texas, along with Altair Astro in the UK, have come together and they have built this telescope unit that is meant for somebody who wants a package deal, something that's lightweight, not crazy expensive, something great for wide field. And I have recently received the unit and I am really excited to start showing it to you. So in future videos, I'm gonna show you this telescope and I'm gonna play with it outside in the backyard. We're gonna give it a test run and I'm gonna tell you guys my thoughts and feelings about it. But real quick, let me show you what it is. This is the smallest telescope, the lightest telescope that I own. It is a fancy 60 millimeter Altair telescope here. It is a refractor. And this kit, which is really cool because you don't get this very often in this world, is going to be a complete kit available to you with the telescope, the guide scope, the guide camera, the imaging camera, which I have already boxed up and packed away. So I'm going to show that to you soon. But it comes with a filter holder along with a light pollution filter. The camera is a one-shot color camera. The package comes complete with all the spacers you need and the field flattener to, to achieve these really flat images. And also it will come with a Vixen rail that will allow you to mount it to your mount. Now there is not a mount included with this package quite yet, but the thought process is, is you really should buy the best mount that you possibly can for your imaging goals. This is a small scope, so you really don't wanna buy a mount that is meant for a small scope if you plan on taking this into the future and doing more with this hobby. But if this is all you ever want, there are some small mounts out there available. Lancy and Sky has them on their website. And what's really nice about this is look, I can hold this with one hand, no problem. This is not heavy, it's compact, it's tiny, it's cute. I really shouldn't say cute to you guys, should I? But I'm looking forward to getting out in the field and using this telescope setup. So in the near future, I'm gonna tell you how this stacks up with my other scopes. We're gonna look at how wide this field really is, how well this guide scope works with the guide camera, and we will give this camera that they sent me a run for its money. Now, all of this is gonna come after I move out of this house which is, you know, these, this is the only scope I've really got here. Besides, you can see the, uh, the raven is hiding over there. They're the last two scopes I have to move out. And uh, my parents are going to hold them for safekeeping because I just don't trust storage units. You know, and, well, I have to trust my parents. I love them. They love me. It's kind of what we do. But this is my exciting news. So if you're curious about this scope before I start telling you my thoughts and feelings, I'll leave a link below. It is a whole package deal that includes the camera that I'm not showing you right here with the filter. 
and it's for one not overly crazy price when you start looking into astro photography and that was kind of the goal to have a one-stop shop everything you need in one box so all you have to do is assemble it and put it outside on a mountain start taking pictures all right no fuss nice and easy that's the concept and I'm gonna tell you real soon how well this all works out for us but I hope everyone enjoyed this video thank you so much for sticking around with me knowing that I'm gonna be a little bit slow on producing videos for the next few weeks until I get my house in order which I know every one of you understand and I'm looking forward to producing a whole bunch of videos things are moving up for us we're doing great we're getting um, recognition from manufacturers and resellers who are reaching out to me. I am doing several live streams. I just did one with the Backyard Imaging channel. I'm going to be on Woodland cameras pretty soon and also Explore Scientific has reached out to me to be on their channel. So great things are happening for all of us. Thank you everyone for sticking with me. We are closing in on 3,000 subscribers and I'm anticipating around the time we sit down and have turkey here in the U.S. for Thanksgiving, I just might hit 3,000. At least that's my personal goal. I would love to have a turkey 3,000 with all of you guys. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your Astro friends. Tell the world that we are here together. If you have questions, comments, leave them below. I do my very best to answer them. If you don't want to leave it so everybody in the world can look at it because you might think it's a, an unusual question, you might be a little embarrassed by it, don't worry. I'm not going to rag you guys out. Pop over to my website, which is amyastro.com, find the contact link, and from there you can send me a private email where I will do my very best to answer all of your questions, okay? So I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. I'm looking forward to a great winter season with all of you. And as always, I am wishing you guys to have some great health, clear skies, and I'm going to see you all in the next video. I love each and every one of y'all. Goodbye.